Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of me, Pierre Rees, and I'm back in the Shropshire Hills on the Long Mint on a wet and windy day. I don't know if you can hear me, I'm just recording on my phone, I don't have no external microphone, so at the minute I'm, um, I'm heading towards Grindle Hill, but the weather forecast is not looking great at all, so I might have to go to a backup location which is a lot more sheltered which is about, which is about five kilometers in that direction. So um, yeah, let's see how, where we go, where this takes us, and then um, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit, and hopefully on a not too windy Grindle Hill. The rain is just starting to come in. I've literally just started walking. I've only been walking about half a kilometer, and it's already started, so. This could be an emotional one. Hopefully, hopefully the weather holds out that I don't have to bug out in the middle of the night. I was, but I have been thinking about it all day actually. The weather core forecast is really, really poor. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see now, I'm just starting to get rained on, so I might have to get the waterproofs on in a minute. And uh, I really do hope when it comes to editing this video that you guys can hear me and that the wind isn't just blowing completely across the mic and just completely drowning me out. Anyway, that way. Again, I still don't know if you can pick up any of the audio on the microphone, but uh, I'm going to go to my backup location, which, um, fingers crossed, should be a lot more sheltered. I only literally got about 500 metres down this track uh, towards Grindle Hill, and it's just, it's just not happening. As soon as I get on top of that hill, my tent ain't going to survive the night. So, that direction now to my backup location. These things are sent to test us. <laughs> Living the dream. The wind is absolutely howling and the rain is coming so hard. I've only got about another, another half hour to go to my location. I have no idea if you can hear what I'm saying. I might take my glasses off because they're completely steaming up. But, Last time I was walking in the rain, which was a wild camp that I did with 
Sophie, her first world camp. The rain got behind my uh, my rucksack and my back and my back absolutely got soaked. But it wasn't as bad as this then. And it wasn't windy. So the minute the wind is coming straight on, face on, so luckily it's not going down in between my back and the rucksack. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. <laughs> oh, brilliant. something for the B-roll. Just had some planets coming up behind me. I haven't seen anybody for ages. Covering up behind me just while I'm recording. It's like a right dingus. Anyway, I am, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but I am starting to lose the light. So, I am literally two minutes away from where I'm stopping for tonight. So I'm going to have to pitch the tent up quickly. Get that all set up. You in. I'll bring you in for a short tour. So I've got some more, I've got some new gear that I got when I got the Lanshan that I've yet to try out. So I'll give that a go and uh, give you a verdict on what I think about that. I just want to show you this quickly. Uh, this is the, the fire pit that Rich from Wild Astro was talking about. I believe he was set up around about here. And just goes to show, I think his video was from about three months ago. And um, look at the damage that's still here from a fire pit that was a year ago from his video. So that's now, that scar is now one year and three months. And to be honest, it doesn't look any different from Rich's video three months ago. And I just want to reiterate what Rich was saying about uh, leave no trace that with the way things are at the minute with local with, with lockdowns and everything like that and everyone getting out camping which is great and they feel the need that they have to go and light fires like that it's just not on so i just want to re-emphasize the point that rich said i know i keep bringing in my videos i keep bringing up the same, the same group of lads that i do believe what they're saying I leave no trace ethos you know there's no need for it there is no need for it. definitely can't tell by the camera but it is really starting to get dark so I'm just gonna make a quick I don't know time lapse I suppose I'll do a time lapse I think it's just time for a coffee.
Who needs an expensive titanium spoon when you've got just a latte spoon that you just bend the end of it up a little bit. Nice and long to get into them high dehydrated meals. These little UHT milk sachets that I managed to obtain when I've been working away from home, staying in a hotel in the travel lodges. So I just acquired some of these. I'm just drinking me brew. Sat in a tent. It's still only, what, six o'clock, so it's only half an hour later. Wind's still strong in the trees up there. Oh, that's a good coffee. So yeah, the wind's still strong in, a tre in the trees up top. But down here it's quite calm. So yeah, last night, Boris Johnson announced that the furlough scheme was going to be extended for another month. So it's now Sunday. And I found myself being furloughed again on tomorrow, Monday. So I'm being furloughed on an ad hoc basis. And it's not been the easiest because we don't get told until last minute whether we're working tomorrow or not. I found out on Friday, obviously, because normally we don't work weekends. So I found out on Friday that I'm not working Monday. So I thought, yeah, why not? Go out Sunday. We just seen the walk walk out I was coming out here no matter what and I knew that I had a backup place to go to if I couldn't get to Grindle Hill which was recommended to me so I literally got about 500 meters down the track and the, the wind and rain came in but it was nothing compared to the shots that came later Probably wasn't the best idea to bring Sophie out tonight. She definitely, I think she would definitely, uh, she would have had a limit to come out here. So I'm going to finish this brew. Well, carry on enjoying this brew. I'll probably watch a film in a minute. Past the time. Before I put some food on. So, dehydrated meals. So yeah, food for tonight. I thought, um, I've never had it before, so tonight I'm eating spaghetti bolognese, but if you'll note that it's the big bag, so this one's a thousand calories, so I've never eaten a dehydrated meal before, at least not while camping, I, ha I have tried them at Scouts, but not this one, so I'd be interested to see what this is like. So I'm just going to fire the jet ball up, boil some water up and see where we go with this. So I'm looking forward to this. So obviously I've got to take that little pouch out. that's what it looks like inside. So I'm not quite sure where to fill it up to. So it's going to be a bit of experimentation. I don't know if there's anything on the inside, a guide on the inside. No, it doesn't say. I'm not sure where to fill it up to. We'll give it a go. Oil boiled. Oui. Almost. I did find out eventually how much it needed. 
rated up to 540 millilitres of water. It was actually in the instructions on the front of the pack. Don't look too bad. It's been about 10 minutes, so let's have a look and see what this looks like. Do you know what? I don't look too bad, that. But I'm just trying to get the... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get the right light. Yeah, doesn't look too bad that. Right, so that's that guys. That's me, ready to turn in for the night. It's only about nine o'clock, half nine, something like that. I don't know if you can see it, ice flame quilt that I got all from AliExpress. So I'll give that a try tonight and see how it goes. The wind's very loud in the trees, so hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight. And I'll see you boys and girls in the morning. Good night. Morning guys. Well, I managed to survive the night. It was very windy. And uh, I woke up quite often. But I managed to survive. I don't think if I'd gone to Grindel Hill, the Lanshan would have stood up to it. I really don't. I did pick up quite a bit of wind here last night and a couple of gusts even though this is a sheltered spot a couple of gusts did really catch the land sham nothing major but i do think that going up to grindle would have destroyed it for sure so what we're saying last night about the the quilt i couldn't show you the quilt last night because it was too late for me to set after i set the tent up to be actually able to show you what was going on inside the tent. So this is the quilt here, which is the which is an ice lane quilt. Just get the logo up. And this was uh, recommended by a Shropshire lad. I think it's very good. I did have thermals on last night, um, and with the cloud cover that we had, it wasn't actually that cold outside. So I was wearing the, the, the down, I was wearing my down jacket, thermals on, and I was very comfortable. Uh, I didn't get too hot, but I didn't get too cold, so I wouldn't. I don't know what the temperature was like last night, but like I was saying, the, with the cloud cover the way it is, it's actually not as cold as it has been a couple of weeks ago. So I reckon it's probably good for about five degrees, maybe. Uh, I did bring the Snug Pack Expansion 4 with me, my, uh, my sleeping bag. Uh, I didn't need it, didn't need to get that out at all, but it was there as a backup just in case, you know, two o'clock in the morning, it's cold. But no, it went well, so very pleased with it. Very pleased with it, very happy. So I'm just gonna make some breakfast quickly and then it's time to pack up and head home. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Got to admit, the ice flame quilt packs down really small, which is a damn sight smaller than what the um, the snug pack expansion four is. I know it's down, and the expansion packs uh, is synthetic. But that's quite good, that. So that's it, all packed away, all ready to go now. It's now just before eight o'clock and that's me done and dusted for another camp. Just double checking everything. Oh, there's a little bit. 
That's not mine, but I'll take it anyway. So just double checking that I've taken everything and that there's nothing left behind, no rubbish. This is the second time I've camped in this spot and I've got to admit, it's a really nice, it's a really nice spot. The last time, I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll, um, I'll put a link to it up there in the top right hand corner is uh, a camp that I did, a wild camp that I did with my daughter Sophie. So it looks like everything's been taken away. That's just my gear over there ready to go. And it's the old hashtag, isn't it? Leave no trace. As you can probably tell, my fat ass was there. And there's nothing left behind the way it should be. to spit with rain so I got the waterproofs back on and now the sun has made a reappearance. So I'm not taking them off now. I'm going to carry on walking to the car. I've probably only got about another three kilometers to go. Well that's me almost back at the car. That's another successful wild camp finished. I think that right went rather well considering uh, the wind was absolutely horrific yesterday last night which obviously stopped me from going up to Grindle Hill. So I think I made the right decision going down to uh, going into a sheltered spot. I've got to admit the, the Lanshan fared well. I'm quite I'm quite happy with the Lanshan, but what I'm not too impressed with is the footprint that goes underneath. The, the ground sheet of the Lanshan and the footprint seem to seem to be very slippy against each other, and I found myself sliding down the inside of the tent but with the ground sheet with me so I kept having to I kept having to scoot back up again and the like I said they just kept slipping against each other which I don't know how much stress that was putting on the little bungees anyway I hope you like the video guys as much as I enjoyed filming it with all the wind if you did don't forget to hit that like button at the bottom and subscribe that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, only thing left to do now is to say goodbye and catch you on the next adventure. <laughs>